Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Anuta, the Crucial Ball. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. Like, share and comment on my videos. And today we're going to do this beautiful pattern for a heart keychain or a key ring. Here it is. It looks like this from both the sides here. And for this one, I've used my 100% cotton yarn. And for this particular project, I've used my this 2.5 mm of the hook. So let's begin. So here it is. We will start with the magic circle. So just have your yarn and have your yarn around your fingers like this and make an axe here and hold your axe and simply have the second strain of yarn at the back. Now have your hook and insert your hook like this and grab your this second strain of yarn through your this first strain of yarn here and turn your hook. And here it is. This is our magic circle. Now here, we're going to chain up three. So here it is. It's one, two, and three. So chain up three first here. And now we're going to have our three treble crochets into this magic circle. So for that, we're going to yarn over twice. It's one and two. Yarn over twice. And insert your hook into this magic circle. Here it is. And grab your yarn. You're going to have four loops on your hook. Here it is. And now yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops and yarn over for third time and pull your yarn through two loops and this is your first treble crochet again we will yarn over twice we will insert our hook into this magic circle and grab our yarn we're gonna have four loops on our hook yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops and yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops again yarn over twice go to this magic circle insert your hook grab your yarn yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops and yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops and this is your third treble crochet so here it is we have our this first chain three then we have our this three treble crochet and now we will have three double crochets into this magic circle so for that yarn over and insert your hook into this magic circle and grab your yarn you're gonna have three loops in your hook yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops so this is our first double crochet and that's gonna be our second double crochet and that's gonna be our third double crochet here it is so have you this three double crochets here and now we're gonna chain one so here it is it's a chain one and now we will have one treble crochet so for that we will yarn over twice insert your hook into this magic circle and grab your yarn you're gonna have four loops in your hook yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops here it is so here it is you got your this another treble crochet here and now we will have a chain one here it is and now we will repeat our this pattern on this side so here we're gonna have three double crochets so for that yarn over and insert your hook into this magic circle and have your three double crochets here so it's one two and three and now we will have three treble crochets into over this magic circle so for that yarn over twice insert your hook grab your yarn and have your this first treble crochet yarn over twice and insert your hook into this magic circle and have your this second treble crochet and yarn over twice insert your hook into this magic circle and have your this third treble crochet here it is so we got over this three treble crochets here and now we will chain up three so here it is it's one two and three three chain of three and now go to this magic circle and insert your hook and have your one slip stitch here like this now I'm just gonna pull my this loose end so just pull your this loose end a little tight and here it is your work will look like this now here we will go to this first chain three so here it is we got about this first chain three and here on over this first chain three we will have three single crochets so after you have this slip stitch 
directly go to this chain three here insert your hook into this chain three and have three single crochets here so for that it's one two and three here like this and now we will go to this first treble crochet and on top of this first treble crochet we will have two single crochets so insert your hook into this first treble crochet here and have two single crochets here into this one stitch so it's one and two again we will go to this next treble crochet and here we're gonna have two single crochets into this one stitch so it's one and two again we will go to this next treble crochet and here we will have two single crochets into this one stitch here it is and now for this next three double crochets we're gonna have one single crochet into each stitch so go to this next one and have only one single crochet here go to this next one and have one single crochet here go to this next one and have one single crochet here and now we are here on our this chain one space so insert your hook into this chain one space and have one single crochet here like this and now we are here on top of our this treble crochet so here on top of this treble crochet we will have two single crochets so we're gonna have two single crochets into this one stitch so insert your hook into this treble crochet grab a yarn and have your two single crochets here so that's one and two now we will go to this next chain one space and we will have one single crochet here only and here for this next three double crochets we're gonna have one single crochet into each stitch so go to this next double crochet and have one single crochet go to this next one and have one single crochet go to this next one and have one single crochet here it is and now we are again here on our this travel crochets and for this three travel crochets we're gonna have two stitches two single crochets into our each stitch so here it is go to this next stitch and have two single crochets here so it's one and two go to this next stitch and have two single crochets here so it's one and two and go to this next treble crochet and have two single crochets here so it's one and two here it is and now we are here on our this chain three space and here again we're gonna have three single crochets into this chain three space so insert your hook into this chain three space here like this and have three single crochets here so it's one two and three here it is and now we're going to insert our hook into our this magic circle so after this three single crochets insert your hook into this magic circle here and grab a yarn and have one slip stitch here it is pull your this yarn a little tight and here it is this is how we are going to create our heart and our one side is ready now here you can cut your yarn and you can hide your this two ends in here i already have one side ready so i already got my this one heart ready here and this is my second heart now cut your yarn for your this first heart and hide your ends in for the second one do not cut your yarn because we are going to carry on with attaching our this two parts together so here it is just finish up your this first part and go to this next part and create your this second heart and do not cut your yarn and here i'm just gonna hide my this little tail and i'm gonna meet you after that so here it is i've hide my this end in and here it looks like this do not cut your yarn here and now we will attach our this two parts together so for that here just go to this first part here remember to have your correct sides on your this um, front side here it is this is my front side and this is my front side your wrong side should go in like this and here i will go to this first single crochet now remember we have our this three single crochets here on our this chain three so go to this first single crochet this is our first single crochet and here i'm going to take the back loop of my this first single crochet here like this and i will go to this second part and here again i will go to this first single crochet so this is the first single crochet and i will take the back loop of my this first single crochet so here it is insert your hook into the back loop of your this first single crochet here like this and 
grab your yarn and pull your yarn through all of your loops here like this and have chain one go to this next stitch insert your hook into the back loop of your this next stitch go at the back and take this back loop of your this next stitch here like this and grab your yarn pull your yarn through all of your loops have your this slip stitch and chain one again go to this next stitch insert your hook into this next stitch here like this and go to this second side and insert your hook into the back loop of your this next stitch here again and yarn over and pull your yarn through all of your loops have a slip stitch and chain one now keep on doing your this slip stitch and a chain one keep on repeating your pattern all the way around until here so go all the way around have your this back loops on both the sides on each stitch and have your this one slip stitch and one chain one keep on repeating this pattern until the end and i'm going to meet you here at the end and here it is i'm at the last stitch here and i will insert my hook into the back loop of my both the sides of the stitches and this is my last stitches and i will grab the yarn and we'll have a slip stitch and now here i'm gonna chain up 25 so here it is it's one two three four 24 and 25 so have this 25 chains and i will insert my hook somewhere here now there is no particular stitch here but i will just simply insert my hook somewhere in here and we'll grab the yarn and we'll have a slip stitch here here it is just like this and here we're going to create our loop now we will cut our yarn secure this last stitch and hide this end in and i'm going to meet you after that here it is and here it is it is all done it is all ready and you can use this piece just as it is i'm going to create this a uh, little tassel here if you want to have a single color you can have a single color as well if you want to have double colors you can use both the yarns i'm going to use both the yarns here so for that i will simply have my this two yarns together and here i'm going to round up my this yarn around my this four fingers here like this for about 10 times but remember if you're having just a single color if you're if you're having your tassel just in a single color with just one yarn uh, round them up on your four fingers for about 20 times because I'm having two uh, strain of yarns here I'm gonna round them up for about 10 times only so here it is it's one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and here it is it is all done I'm just gonna cut my yarn here here it is and now just have this one color here and I will go on the top just pull your yarn a little long thread and have a knot here I'm just gonna have a couple of knots here to secure my this tassel here it is and now I will take my this working yarn and I will simply round my yarn here like this Here it is and now cut a little longer tail here like this and I'm gonna need needle here so here it is just have a needle and now I'm just gonna have one little knot here on this side and we'll take out my this yarn from here and now I will go to this second side here because my yarn is here I'm gonna to go to the second side and I will take out my this needle from here here like this just to secure my this tassel and I will go to this knot and will enter my this needle here 
and here it is and now I will go to this keychain and here I will go at the bottom and will secure my this tassel here so here again we're gonna have a couple of knots to secure our tassel with our this keychain here it is nicely secure tight enough and now I will again take out my this end here here it is and now we are going to cut over these tassels for that simply have your scissors and cut here this tassel from the bottom here it is now trim your edges here and your tassel is ready it is and here it is our keychain is ready it looks like this here it is if you want to have your tassel with a single color it looks like this and here again and i hope you like my today's tutorial if you have like please like share and comment on my videos and please 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 subscribe to my channel and i will see you into the next video till then bye